1 Samuel 17, verses 33 through 45. I'll be reading from the New King James Version tonight. And Saul said to David, You are not able to go against the Philistine to fight with him, for you are a youth, and he is a man of war from his youth. But David said to Saul, Your servant used to keep his father's sheep, and when a lion or a bear came and took a lamb out of the flock, I went out after it and struck it, and delivered the lamb from its mouth. And when it arose again, I caught it by its beard and struck and killed it. Your servant has killed both lion and bear, and this uncircumcised Philistine will be like one of them, seeing that he has defied the armies of the living God. Moreover, David said, The Lord who delivered me from the paw of the lion and from the paw of the bear, he will deliver me from the hand of the Philistine. And Saul said to David, Go, and the Lord will be and go, and the Lord be with you. So Saul clothed David with his armor and put a bronze helmet on his head. He also clothed him with a coat of mail. David fastened his sword to his armor and tried to walk, and he said he had not tested them. And David said to Saul, I cannot walk with, with these, for I have not tested them. So David took them off. When he took his staff in his hand, and he chose for himself five smooth stones from the brook and put them in a shepherd's bag in a pouch which he had, and his sling was in his hand and drew near to the Philistine. So the Philistine came, began drawing near to David, and the man who bore the shield went before him. And when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he dis stained him, for he was only a youth, ruddy and good-looking. So the Philistine said to David, I'm a dog that you come to me with sticks. And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. And the Philistine said to David, Come to me, and I will give you your flesh to the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. Then David said to the Philistine, You come to me with a sword, with a spear, and with a javelin. But I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, and the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. This story should be familiar to all of us. It's the story of David and Goliath. David was sent out to fight a 10-foot-sized giant with nothing but a sling and five smooth stones. But David had much more than just the sling and the five smooth stones. He had something far greater and far mightier. David had the Lord by his side. So tonight, I want to take a few moments and talk about three messages we can learn from this story. The first message tonight that I would like to bring up to you is, the Lord will be with us wherever we go. We see in 1 Samuel 17, verse 33, it says, And Saul said to David, You're not able to go against the Philistine to fight with him, for you are but a youth, and he has been a man of war from his youth. David was told he was not capable of fighting Goliath because he was too young and, in, and had not been a man of war for as long as Goliath had been. But David knew that God would be with him no matter what people around him were telling him. Because we see in 1 Samuel 17, verse 37, he says, And David said, The Lord who delivered me from the paw of the lion and from the paw of the bear will deliver me from the hand of the Philistine. And Saul said to David, Go, and the Lord, and Lord be with you. The Lord delivered David from the paw of a lion and from the paw of the bear, so David knew the Lord could deliver him from the hand of Goliath. David knew he could face, face Goliath because the Lord was with him. We see over in Joshua 1, verse 9, have I, have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous, do not be frightened, do not be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. We too can face our Goliath that we're facing in our lives like David did, no matter what people around us are saying. Whatever we're struggling with, whatever, whatever we're suffering with, the Lord will be with us wherever we go. Not only will the Lord be with us wherever we go, but if we put our faith in God, He will give us the courage to fight our personal battles. In 1 Samuel 17, verse 45, it says, Then David said to the Philistine, You come to me with a sword and with a spear and with a javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts and the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. David said he comes to battle with the Lord of hosts and the God of the armies of Israel. David put his faith in God, which led him to be fearless and have the courage to defeat Goliath. We too must put our faith and trust in God in order to become fearless, to fight our inner battles that we struggle with from day to day. In Isaiah 41 verse 10, it says, 
Fear not, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will, uh, I will uphold you with my righteousness in my right hand. God will strengthen you and help you just like he did with David. So, God will be with us wherever we go, and if we put our faith in God, he will give us courage to fight us to fight our inner battles. And finally tonight, I want to talk about nothing is too big or impossible for God. As we know, David pulled a stone from his bag and put it in his sling. He slung the stone and struck Goliath's forehead, and Goliath fell. When the Philistines saw that their champion had fell, the Philistines fled. Before this fight, people would have said that David would not have stood a chance. But David showed that with God, he can defy and disprove odds. In Luke 1, verse 37, it says, For nothing will be impossible with God. This statement is very true, for anything is possible with God. Tonight we learned that the Lord is with us wherever we go. If we put our faith in God, we can have courage to fight personal battles, and nothing is too big or impossible for God. I hope this lesson has been beneficial for you, and I know this lesson was not about becoming a Christian, and maybe someone here tonight is not a Christian and needs to become one, or if you're an erring child of God that needs to repent, please come to the front as together we sing the song.